Hi everyone, I'm Laura. I'm going to show you how to crochet this snail. So if you'd like the written version of this pattern, it's on my website. I'll leave the link in the description. If you've never crocheted before, take a look at my videos about how to do single crochet and how to crochet in the round. So you're going to need double knit yarn in yellow. I've chosen a mustard yellow, orange and light brown. And you'll also need a three millimeter crochet hook. Some scissors, a stitch marker, a needle that's big enough for your yarn and some stuffing. So just a small amount of stuffing. So we're going to start in yellow. We're making the shell first. So round one, we're going to make a magic ring and then we're going to do six single crochet in the magic ring. So we just take that short tail out and put it by the side. And then we do our six single crochet underneath both of those strands. So you can count the V-shapes to count your stitches and then pull tight on that short end to close the magic ring. And then put the stitch marker in that stitch. Round two, we're going to be working in the back loops only. So this is the front loop because it's closest to you. And this is the back loop because it's furthest away. So every stitch we're going to be working in the back loop only. And we're going to make two half double crochet in every stitch. So we yarn over and then we push the hook in the stitch. So in that back loop. And yarn over and pull through. And we've got three loops on the hook yarn over and pull through all three loops. So that's a half double crochet. And now we need to do another one in that same stitch. So we're increasing and we'll have 12 stitches at the end of this round. So I'll just show you this round, but you can pause the video and meet me back when you've done that. So we take out the marker and do our last half double crochet increase. And you can count, make sure you've got 12. And you can see that we've left the front loops and we're going to use those later on to make the spiral. So we put the marker back in that last stitch we did. Round three, again, we're gonna be working in the back loops only. We're going to do a double crochet in the next stitch. So we yarn over, push the hook in the stitch, yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through the first two loops. And then yarn over and pull through the last two loops. So that's the double crochet. And then we're going to make two double crochet in the next stitch, so an increase. And we're going to do that six times, so the section in brackets six times, 
and we'll have 18 stitches at the end of this round. So we're increasing in multiples of six and we are going up in height in the stitches. So the single crochet is the smallest and then half double crochet, double crochet, and then we're going to do a treble crochet on the next round. So you can pause the video and meet me back when you've done that. So I've come to my last stitch of this round. So we'll do our last two double crochet. So you can see we've got our nice spiral of front loops forming. And you can just count, it's quite easy to spot the increase, the double crochet increases. So just count, make sure you've got 18. And then put the marker back in. Round four, again, we're going to be working in the back loops only. And we're going to do a treble. So we're going to wrap the yarn around the hook twice. And then we're going to push the hook into that back loop. Yarn over and pull through. Now we've got four loops on the hook. Yarn over and pull through the first two loops. We've got three loops. Yarn over and pull through the next two loops. Now we've got two loops and yarn over and pull through those last two loops. So that's a treble and there's sort of three sections to it. So we're going to do another treble in the next stitch. So the treble is the tallest stitch and this is the last round. Now we're going to make two treble in the next stitch, so an increase. And we're going to repeat that section in brackets three more times. So we've got four lots of that in total. So I'll just show you one more set and then you can pause the video and meet me back when you've done four sets. Okay, so I've done those four sets. So now we're going to double crochet in the next two stitches. And we're going to work our way down in height of the stitches. Then we're going to half double crochet in the next two stitches. In a single crochet in the next stitch and then we take the marker out and slip stitch in the last stitch. So we've only increased four times there so we've got 22 stitches at the end of that round. So now we're going to leave a long tail for sewing and cut the yarn
um, fast enough. And you can tuck that tail from the magic ring inside. So you can see the spiral and this is where it ends in line with where we fastened off. So now we're going to find the first front loop and we're going to pull up a loop of orange. So it's this one here. You might need to pinch the fabric a bit to get your hook in because it might be a bit tight. So push the hook in and then we just fold the orange yarn and pull up a loop. Then we're going to chain one and we're going to make a slip stitch in that same stitch. So push the hook in, yarn over and pull through and then pull that loop through the first loop on the hook. And then we're going to make a slip stitch in every front loop until we get to the end. So I'll just show you up to the second round. So we keep going, just following that spiral. So you can pause the video and meet me back when you get to the end. Okay, so I'm almost at the end now. It's got two more stitches to do. And then we fasten off, just leave a short tail. And then we're going to thread that short tail from the start onto our needle and weave that through. And then we're going to weave that other orange tail in too. And then you can tuck those ends inside. So that's the shell finished. So now we're going to make the body in light brown. So round one, we're going to do six single crochet in the magic ring. So same as before. And put our marker in. Round two, we're going to single crochet in the next stitch and then we're going to increase in the next stitch. And we're going to do that three times so that we have nine stitches at the end of the round. So an increase is two single crochet in one stitch.
So then another one in that same space. And then take the marker out and do our last increase. And you can count, make sure you've got nine stitches. And put our marker back in. So rounds three to 13, that's 11 rounds. We're gonna single crochet in every stitch. So we're not increasing or decreasing, we're just maintaining nine stitches and we'll have a long tube. So I'll just show you one round and then you can pause the video and meet me back when you've done that. And you can count your rounds like this. Okay, so I've done all of those. So we've got our first round, which is six and then nine, and then you can start counting your rounds of single crochet. So now you can push that tail in with the end of your hook. And we're going to take a small amount of stuffing and I use the end of my scissors to push it in just because it was a bit easier than the end of my hook. So just keep doing that a small amount at a time until it's firmly stuffed. So round 14, we're going to single crochet in the next stitch, and then we're going to do an invisible decrease. So I'll show you how to do that. And we're going to do that three times so that we have six stitches. So we push the hook in the front loop only of the next stitch, and then we push the hook through the front loop only of the stitch next to that. So we've got three loops on the hook. Yarn over and pull through those first two loops. So to make it easy, you can pull through one and then the next. Yarn over and pull through the last two loops. And you can see that we've got that diagonal piece at the side of the invisible decrease. We don't want to go into that. So the next stitch is under the V shape again. So we just repeat that three times. And then when we've got two stitches remaining, we take out the marker and we do our last invisible decrease. So now we're going to make the wavy parts at the edge. So we're going to chain two and we're going to be working in the spaces between the rounds. So we're not actually going into the top of stitches, we're just going to be pushing the hook in between the spaces where the surface of the stitches are. So we're going to make two half double crochet stitches in the next 10 spaces. So we're increasing. So we just push the hook in like that and then do the half double crochet as normal. So we just want it to be in a straight line on the side edge. So another half double crochet in that same space. So 
So it can be hard to see, but we're just going by feel. So you should be able to feel where the hook is going into. So as long as you keep it roughly in a straight line, that's what we're aiming for. So I'll just show you a few more. So you can pause the video and meet me back when you've done those 10 half double crochet increases. So you can count, make sure you've got 10 and it should end roughly on the third round down. So this is the head end and now we're going to do a slip stitch in the next space. And then we're going to fasten off, just leave a short tail. So now we're going to do the same on the other side, but we're going to do it in reverse. So we're going to pull up a loop on the opposite side and we're going to chain one. I'm going to slip stitch in that same space. And then again, we're going to make two half double crochet in the next 10 spaces, just keeping it in a straight line until we meet the end point. So you can pause the video and meet me back when you've done those. Okay, so I'm just doing my last two half double crochets. So now we're going to chain two and we're going to slip stitch in that first half double crochet. So not the chain two, but the top of that first half double crochet. So don't worry about that gap because the shell is going to be on top of that anyway. So cut the yarn and fasten off. And then we're going to weave all of these tails in. And then cut the yarn close to the edge of the work and use the end of your needle to push those ends in and hide them. You can also use the end of a small pair of scissors as well. I sometimes find that easier. So now we want to curve the head end upward slightly. And now we're going to sew the shell on. So this is another one that I made. So we want the end where the orange spiral ends to be at the back. 
So we just thread that yellow tail onto our needle. And just hold on to both pieces, keep them in line. And we're going to pick up light brown loops. So from the surface of those half double crochet stitches, not through the Vs. And then we're going to go through the back loop only of the yellow stitches. So when we get to this middle section, we're going to be picking up loops from the surface of the single crochet stitches. And then do the same on the other side. So you can pause the video and meet me back when you've done that and I'll show you how to fasten off. So to fasten off, you find a loop and go through it but not all the way. Go through that loop from behind and pull tight to make a knot and then push that through the same space and come out on the bottom of the body and then cut the yarn close to the edge of the work. So now we're going to make the little feelers on the end. I'm not sure of the technical name. So we're going to cut a piece of light brown yarn that's about 12 centimeters long and we're going to have the snail so that the head end is closest to us like this. And we're going to push the hook in between the second and third round on the top in the middle and then fold that piece in half so that the ends meet pull the loop through, wrap the ends around the hook and pull through the loop and pull on it to tighten. And we want to trim that so that it's about one and a half centimeters long. And then just pull on them again to tighten them. So there we have it. We finished our snail. I made two of them. You can make as many as you like, dot them around and decorate your house with them. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a like and subscribe. I'd love to see a photo of your snails. You can share it with me by tagging me on Instagram at laura underscore wilson01. I also have an Etsy shop where I design and sell crochet patterns. If you'd like to check that out, I'll leave the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.